Good afternoon from Universal, guys. We're here to see the parade. Yes, super excited. We haven't seen it yet, so I can't wait. It's actually starting in like 10 minutes, so we got here in perfect time. Yeah, starting a little earlier than 6. Then in City Walk, there's Broadway night tonight, so we may take a peek at that at like 8 o'clock, but there's a bunch of things you want to check out here. Pick up a few things, try a few snacks. Yeah. I'm definitely hungry. And he needs a hat. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need a hat. I felt funny. I didn't want to wear a Disney hat here. I feel like it's like kind of like a slap in the face to Universal. So I was like, all right, I won't wear one. I'll pick one up, but we don't have much time right now. No, we'll so get it after the parade. After the parade. All right, guys, with that being said, I love y'all. We won't see you. We'll see you in a few minutes. Not the next video. <laughs> Let's go and have a blessed day today. <laughs> The reason why they're starting the parade a little bit early is because of the weather. I heard the, the cast member or team member, I don't know what they're called here at, Uni at Universal, but she said because of the weather, that's why they wanted to start a little bit earlier. It looks okay. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I need to bring my umbrella. It's a little dark over that way, but hopefully it's not too bad. Let's see. Hey, okay, right up over there. I told him about it. Go ahead. You can say it again. We yeah. have to get Halloween Hard Night Express tickets. No fast pass because apparently they sold out like the first day. They released a couple yesterday, sold out again like instantly. If you have a frequent fear pass, you don't need the express pass. You can go multiple times each time you go to a house and enjoy everything else because there's so much more to do than waiting in lines for hours for a haunted house. Yeah. My opinion. Here it comes. I see it coming in the distance and they're trying to get the cast members over here. I'm trying to get people the last second to cross over before it comes. You see it coming. Here they come. That's so cool.
awesome. Here comes a minion's float.
deadly and very slim chance we'll survive. I'm afraid of no ghosts. This chick is Fourth of July celebration. <laughs> Hello. are closed, so please stay out of the waters, all right? Okay. We do have a professional team. I understand that. The shade is out, like it's, it's overcast. It's great. Stay out of the water. <laughs> That's awesome. now after they, uh, the parade goes by. Holy cow, it's busy. Madhouse now. They were missing one float and that was the ET one. I don't know, maybe something happened to it. I don't know, but it wasn't in the parade. That's the only one that was missing. All right, we're heading over to the Minions little restaurant over here to get something to eat. I never ate there. I said, we are going over there. I said, maybe if we oh, ever get there. That's right here. We're going to go there. I've never eaten there. Hopefully it's not a long line because I'm starving. <laughs> she don't want to wait, but I'm willing to wait. I don't care. I'm hungry. Since we're eating over here at the Minion restaurant, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of it. This is actually pretty cool in here. I've never been in here before. I've always like walked by it.
and you just have regular seating and stuff in here and you got to order from your your table well you order from the app and then you got to scan your table that you're actually can bring your food here I know but have you ever eaten here? pretty cool just like three broomsticks I guess they don't have registers anymore you got to order everything from the app I did find out they do have a register back over here so if you can't use the app they do have a register to help you out. Uh, All right, our food has arrived. It took a while. Yeah, it took but a little bit. We got like a stuffed meatball pizza and little tater tots. Look at how cute they are. You can grab one as well. <laughs> little minions. Little minions. They look so cute. And then here's the meatball thing that we got right here. It looks what really good. The salsa is that spicier than it used to be. <laughs> and this is what our friend Paige yeah. got. What'd you say, get? Um, it's all machos. Little warning. It's delicious. But they made the salsa spicier than it used to be like two or three months ago. So if you are a little bit sensitive to spice, just be aware of that. <laughs> Try to ask for the salsa off or get something different. We need another one. Right. I picked up different. We need more utensils. I'm trying to back up some. There you go. I, See, I, I think my wife's confused on how to cut it. She doesn't know what to do. Oh yeah. It's stuffed inside with meatballs and just cheese. Looks like a meatball sandwich to me. It's like a pizza, but it's like stuffed. Yeah. I like it. I definitely get this one. You guys come tomorrow. Yeah. It is good. It kind of reminds me of a uh, meatball sub, is basically what it is. Delicious. I like it a lot. These little tots are amazing. I like these a lot. Yeah, they're, they're thick too inside, so I like it. You don't get that many, but they're good. Yeah, you get five. But they're really good. Even though I showed this before, I love this tribute store. Look at this. This reminds me like a, of an old like blockbuster with the movies and stuff on the shelves here. And then over here too. <laughs> I like the sign bye bye bye. Back in the day. Yep. That's cool. And then they have a lot of Ghostbuster merch here. The shirts down there. And then here this right here. And then they have a lot of Back to the Future stuff over here. I'm not gonna go into great detail on showing this because we've already showed this last time. I just think this whole area is just so cool to look at. Like I said before, I feel like I'm in a blockbuster. And here's the ET section over here. The shirts. They also have mugs right here too. It says be good. And then they have some more shirts and stuff over here. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this uh, tribute store real quick. And I love how this shows like you're going into an arcade. The next room over. One thing that I saw with these bubble wands, if you get close to another one, they're like interactive. They'll vibrate, I think light up, and then you also if you press the right button, it can make the other person's bubble wand start shooting out bubbles, which is pretty neat. And these are the ones that they have here. Got trolls here. But I love how this whole section right here looks like an arcade. This is so cool. I'm gonna pan by kind of slowly. This is the last of the area here. It looks like you're in a movie theater here. I love how they have it. Like it's Ghostbusters there, and then you got Jaws over there, and then more Ghostbusters here, and then E.T. over here. I always love the way this this place looks. I love this too. Take your photo in front of it. That's cool. I want to get the Dark Universe hat. I thought they had it here in some stores in Universal, but they don't. I'm about to get it out at City Walk. I feel funny without my hat. I didn't put no gel or anything in my hair. I felt weird without uh, not wearing one. And it, it's funny because years ago when I came to the parks, I would never wear hats. 
I didn't want to wear them on the ride. I always had to take it off. But now I just love wearing my hats now. All right, we just stopped at Starbucks. I got my white chocolate macadamia nut cold brew. Look at this. I usually get the chocolate cream, but I got this one instead. I need a caffeinated beverage here. delicious i love this drink i like chocolate more but this one is really good i was like i want to do something a little different this is one my wife usually gets all the time this one is really good i like it a lot as the sun is coming out here well it's actually going to set soon but look how beautiful that looks the sun going to get ready to start going down soon it looks so nice there's a rainbow up here but i don't know how good it's coming out on camera because i can't even see it on camera Wow, just right by Rip Rocket, you can see the rainbow. That is awesome. I made a mistake earlier when I said this. I said Ghostbusters is back to the future. <laughs> the reason why we were back in the tribute store, we got uh, two cookies here. We got to take it out of plastic. They're not going to be able to see it. This one's for my daughter. We got a, uh, a wait, that's a Jaws cookie here. That's pretty cool. And then we got a Back to the Future one. And we're going to give a little taste test. Sugar cookies. I think they are just probably just regular, yeah, sugar cookies with uh, probably a paper uh, thing on there, edible paper or whatever I think that's called. It's fondant. Oh, it's fondant? Oh, even better. I love fondant. This is the Back to the Future cookie. That is awesome. Oh, give it a little bite. See how it is. I'm trying to talk over this music. Uh, oh, that's good. Nice little butter cookie. Not overly sweet. I thought that was going to be like full of sugar, and it's really not that bad. All right, now it's my turn to try. Oh. Not bad, right? That is good. And it's not overly sweet like she said. It's really good. I like it. Anything with fondant on it, I love anyway. These little boots over here that they're called cocktails. We got a Mai Tai. You're a Mai Tai. Mai Tai. Thai. Wait, show it Mai in the thai. camera. Mai Tai drink. <laughs> it's <laughs> grenadine, orange, pineapple. Rum. How is it? How's my Mai Tai? <laughs> you don't like it? It's okay. I knew I should have got the 190 octane. Oh, um, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Um, I taste the pineapple in it and stuff. I taste that really good. And, and the orange I taste in it. I like this. This is really good. Coming you from a noisy parking lot. This is why I hate doing the outro. The outro's in the parking are lot. awful here, no matter where we go. Well, it's super hot. It's a thousand degrees in my hair. This is why I don't wear my hair down in Florida. And it's I'm almost like, 10 o'clock at night and we're like sweating Medusa, to death. Like Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we gotta get home. Yeah. All right, guys, with that being said, we're gonna hurry up this. I love you. We'll see you all next video. Bye. Guys. Bye.